The connection between Prairie View and the Black Boy Scouts in Texas, uh, 75 years ago, was when the Boy Scouts, blacks in Texas, were able to participate in scouting. The first major scouting event was held on the campus of Prairie View, the Camp Aral. In our archives, we have pictures, and they go back to the 30s. We had kids from all over the state, African-American kids, who came to Prairie View for Camp Aral each summer. And uh, that was quite an experience. The uh, African-American uh, Boy Scouts uh, were scattered throughout Texas, but they all came together during the summer. They had Prairie View because they weren't allowed to attend the other camps, uh, such as Camp Straight. We had uh, swimming. Um, we had knot tying. We had uh, um, races. Troops were pitted against each other for um, endurance, uh, for cooking, uh, fire building, and that type of thing. On the campus of Prairie View, there was no segregation. And, and regardless of where the individuals came from or whatever uh, ethnicity they had, the uh, segregation component was not enforced. And I think it also affected the visitors to Prairie View in the same way because they were free to mingle and you didn't have to worry about which water fountain to drink out of and so forth. Prairie View uh, was the, the major state-oriented university. And most of our educators came through Prairie View. Most of our business people came through Prairie View. If you were born and reared in Texas and you were black and you went to college, Prairie View was the place. So anything that, uh, that, was, that was meaningful among blacks uh, most normally originated at Prairie View. Because we recognized even then the importance of bringing young people to university campuses to try to let them know what campus life is like, but also to let them see what the potentials are for their lives. When I came to, uh, to Houston, I was very much concerned about what was happening uh, to young black kids before they went to college. Uh, so many of them dropped out of high school and never got to college. And what happened to many of them was they grew up in single parent families and they grew up poor. So my concern when the church was born that very soon uh, we would do something, some kind of outreach for children. And the best thing that I knew about was Boy Scouts. Texas was, as most southern states, segregated so that blacks could not be a part of most of the activities of whites. And when W.L. Davis uh, wanted to establish a scouting program, uh, he had to establish a black scouting program. So out of the Sam Houston Area Council, the W.L. Davis district was born. It was a little bit after uh, his having started it that it was named after him but that's when it was, some 45 years ago. And the rest is history. Uh, 242 became a major troop, and right now has probably produced 150, 160 Eagle Scouts, which is the highest rank. The main thing in scouting is to teach leadership. And so uh, kids learn how to they learn scouting skills, they learn to scout oath to live by the scout law, et cetera, which is very important. Uh, but in addition to that, the main thing is giving them the opportunity to develop their leadership traits. It's a positive experience. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feeling of community. It's something that you can belong to, that you can share, and friends that you met in the scouts are lifelong friends. There are rules and regulations and it gives them responsibility. It helps them to uh, organize their lives better. It lets them give them fellowship, camaraderie. Uh, they grow up uh, with buddies, friends, that become friends for a lifetime. I think they learned, uh, first of all, the meaning of true friendship. I think they learned the meaning of responsibility. Because in a, in a true function, you assign different roles to different people. So you learn, you learn teamwork. Most of our boys went on to be contributed to worthwhile contributors to society. I'm very appreciative for being a part of their lives to see what they've done. They were taught to respect women. They were, they were taught to respect elders. Uh, they were taught not to be destructive. And all this was going on from tenderfoot to second class right straight on up. So I think that some of the most valuable things 
uh, were the teaching of principles and therefore the building of character. Being part of a scouting group provides that kind of guidance and purpose. If a boy stayed with his scouting un until he became eagle, he could almost certainly guarantee that he, he would be successful. Uh, whether he became a leader in some existing institution like a school or whether he started his own business, he could be successful. Our goal was to make Eagle Scout. And I made Eagle Scout in 1969. Back then, if you were an Eagle Scout, you were expected to save a life. You were expected to be a lifeguard. You could uh, do first aid. You could cook. You could camp. And so uh, I think it laid a foundation for, for me as part of my life today. I feel great about being able to share what I have learned in the Scouts with younger people and help them to mature and develop and be successful in life and grow up to be good citizens. Just being able to see boys grow up and to have a hand in their lives and help them where they might have gone one way and to see them become grown men and they walk up to you and they let you know they appreciate you being there for them and the contribution you made to them. Uh, there's, no, there's no amount of money that could, could replace it. We had great adult leaders uh, and, was, and great role models, uh, and so which was somewhat rare back then. It's very meaningful to us that as long as there are boys who are living in the kind of socioeconomic uh, background that, that we've got right now, that they should have male role models who can say, I succeeded, you can too. And I think that, that the number of Eagle Scouts proves that they did have the discipline to achieve. They saw the value in the program of scouting and provided it to the African American youth in our community. We stayed together and finished the trail to Eagle. And it's all because of the, of the, uh, the tenacity and the willingness to have the program because of Reverend Lawson and the trailblazers before us. To me, personally, there's nothing greater than being part of scouting. Tenacity, wherewithal, counseling, being uh, surrogate dads, uh, mentors, all that rolled up into one is what they provided for us. And uh, I am thankful for it. It is a debt that can never be repaid.